Yo, 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 what's good? It's Mr. Mixer, the producer. Mr. Mixer, the producer.com. Make sure you go check that out. Good morning. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Hump day. Yeah. Anyway, Mr. Mixer, today's topic. Today's topic. What we go. Anyway, I'm sure y'all can see the whole scene. What's going on right here? Yeah. You're going to need you a great mic. Do you have a great mic? Ha, ha, ha. Let's talk. Mr. Mixer, producer tips. Hey. So anyway, yeah. Great mics. What are they? Are they great or, or is it how you use it? Anyway, you need your mic. You need to find some good ones. Uh, I recommend I use the blue uh, condenser. I'm sure y'all can see right here. Uh, this does me justice, man. I've had this mic over mm, five, six years now, and it, it's never let me down. Um, it's very present in all aspects of a male or a female. It's very versatile on who can use it. Anybody could pretty much use it. Um, sometimes it can overload. It just depends on the type of artist that you have. Um, yeah, so mic game, you know, the blue uh, condenser. I also use uh, a AKG C214. Y'all can see the box, y'all can see, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, um, I, I use this one rarely. Uh, you gotta take care of your mics. You know, you gotta, look, keep them in the box. Look like brand new, you feel me? You want to take very delicate care of these things. These things are very expensive and you do not want to keep buying the same mic over and over because of something you forgot to do about taking care of it. So yeah, you want to take care of all your mics and that's what make them great. You know, um, keep them in the cases. It's a great mic because I have my settings set. Um, I know how to talk in it. I know how to, you know, just whatever. I know how to make my mic great. So. How you can make your mic great is really just on how you stand at your mic when you're recording. You gotta find your sweet spots. You gotta uh, do test, do see what sounds best. Um, you know, you have to have a pop filter. I'm sure you can see this. Um, and that determines, you know, you wanna have it about, about right there, I would do, you know. Somewhere not too close on the mic. People get messed up when they do that right on the mic stuff. Uh, that's fine, but you really want to do a little distance on that because if you don't, it's gonna you're gonna hear it. It's gonna sound very distorted and up front, too up front. You don't want it to be too up front. And and once it's recorded, you cannot change it. You know, so it's all about how you record it going in. So once that mix come out, crystal clear. You know, you hear all the presence, all the syllables. All the, anything that you need to hear is there, you know, and you don't want to hear too much of something or not enough. So make sure you're standing right. Make sure your presence is good in the room. Find a sweet spot in the booth or in the room you're in, however you record, whatever it is, you know. It really don't matter. It's just all in what you know in your head once you get to that computer and, and then that, that, that uh, DAW, whatever you're using, Pro Tools, uh, personally. I use Adobe Audition. Been using that since Cool Edit, uh, you know what I'm saying, and Audition 1.5. But it's not about what you use, it's about how you use it. It's really got all the same elements that Pro Tools has. It's just about you knowing how to use the things that's in there. Uh, as far as compression, limiting, uh, EQ, um, just the basics, the crackling in your mic or the, the, in your record and just the basics of that. I mean, it's a lot to learn out there. So I'm sure you can go find that knowledge, but you got to know what to look for. So these all determine like, you know, what kind of mic you use, you know what I'm saying? And if, if you're using your mic wrong, then that's how it's going to sound, you know? So you want to have a, a pretty good mic. Like I said, I use the blue. It does me justice. Um, I record in a, in a booth. I, I built my booth. So, um, yeah, like this is the setup right here you, that you're looking at and, and it's pretty decent and it's got no echoes. You don't want a lot of echoes and stuff. So, yeah, but make sure you have a great mic. Anyway, 
I'm out. Um, Mr. Mixer, the producer.com. Be sure to check that out. Um, be sure to check out my Off the Top series, Off the Top TV series uh, with T Real. Shout out to T Real. Uh, shout out to everybody supporting me. Shout out to everybody that's going to like this video. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? It just take a few seconds. And make sure that notification button is on so you can, when it when it pop up, it ding, you know what I'm saying? You want to get this information. Producer tips. Mr. Mixer producer tips. So, yeah, uh, keep rocking with me. I got a lot of information I want to give y'all. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hey.